Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Cinquanta Cogsmith of www.cinquantacogsmith.com. Smile for me. I am back with five key tips for your journal business, and today we are going to be talking about categories. But before we get into this video, make sure you visit my Gumroad for more courses and tutorials at gumroad.com backslash Cogsmith. My podcast is available every Friday, Coins and Connections, available on all open podcast formats. Join me over on patreon.com backslash Smith to get exclusive videos and an extra podcast every month for as little as $5 a month. So let's go ahead and jump into this categories video. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell. Okay, so the first um, way that we're going to talk about categories is on Amazon KDP. A lot of us are uploading on Amazon, but we... We just only know literary diaries and journal category, right? Come on. There's more. There's more out there than just that. Put your journal or your book in the category it belongs in. I am so tired of this, okay? <laughs> this is what happens when you are not um, in the journal business or you don't force yourself to learn more because the information is out there. But you learn one way to do it and that's just the only way. Or pay someone like me to help you out, okay? And that's by getting my journal course. So today, um, some of these things that I'm talking about, it's not new, but it may be new to you. So I hope you enjoy you know, learning about this. But if you type into your Google uh, KDP categories, it's going to bring up this first page. So this just helps you to browse for different categories, right? So um, the BISAC subject codes is a, a whole list, a whole new world of so many categories that you have no idea. If you don't know anything about Kindle short read, it's for shorter books, and then they have Kindle singles. But also using and choosing categories um, things can help you like this, you know, what category should I select? Um, and then you can also always look at different categories. So here it says see current categories. Oh, I thought it was going to show me that list. Where is that list? There's like a list that will show you all of the categories that are available on um, KDP. But you can use it by this as well. Um, this kind of helps you search for categories, which is amazing. Um, so let's see. If you still use the site the same way. It's been a minute since I used this website. Okay, so I just typed in education at the top, and um, it just basically gives, you know, different categories. But this is not what I'm looking for. Let's see, where is it? I think this is it. Let's see. That's headlines, contact my, okay, here we go. So here we have, um, so you would have to go to biz codes and then hit complete listing of BISAC subject headlinings list. So this is most of the different uh, collections of uh, categories here. So a lot of times, um, so I talk about manifestation a lot. So you see here we have body, mind, and spirit, and they all have different, you know, different things so I can if it's dealing with astrology this is the category that I want my you know book to be in but this gives you a whole full look of more things you have mindfulness and meditation inspirational growth um, you have alchemy their dreams sacred sexuality uh, spiritual healing so many different things now let's go back and let's just choose something super random because I want you guys to know that there are more things out there for you so say let's do travel and let's look at some of the categories um, in travel so it breaks it down by countries um, and, and regions which is awesome if you create stuff that is tailored to certain regions in the world even with um, Canada, Europe, this is amazing. Like when you start to talk about food and traveling at hotels and hostels or, or cruise type journals, 
this is the type of things that you need to break down your categories to. So not also that you can rank a little bit faster in the state or whatever you are claiming to create for. So say that South Carolina Journal I did, why not put it in travel, United States, South, South Atlantic, because it has South Carolina there. That way I'm breaking down the actual category that I am in, right? So I'm going to bookmark this page for myself because, um, hey, I need help too. And then also on Tangent Template, you can search categories. So let's go ahead and put in Manifest. And we're going to hit Search. And I think it's the Category Browser. Also, so you can browse categories by nonfiction, body, mind, spirit. Then it shows you all the different categories. Some pop out into more like fortune telling, healing. So it shows you prayer and spiritual, parapsychology, general near-death experience. Um, I can never remember. Oh, remember manifestation. GM. Uh, I'm gonna put manifest. Uh, spiritual healing. Said three words. Minutes ago. So let's see if we can find anything. So. I can never get this thing here to work. Um, so let's try just writing spiritual. So I don't know truly what that one is for because I can never get it to work. But I just wanted to show you guys that. So also, did you know that you can add more categories onto your books? You didn't know that, right? So I used to provide this service called Unlock the Secret Keys. I was doing way too much work for a little bit of money. But now you guys are big, you're grown, you're just grown up on me, and you can do the shit yourself. So with every book, you know, you have three, you have two main characters, I mean, categories. And that's what you choose when you upload your book on Amazon, right? But you can send eight more to KDP as soon as your book is live. All you have to do is go to KDP. This is KDP. We're going to scroll to the Contact Us button, right? And then we're going to go to Click Book Details. I have my journal here pulled up for you guys because we're going to need some of this information down here. Look at me still doing good on the bestsellers chart. It's probably on a new release chart. Um, I'll check that out later for you guys. Um, so we hit Contact Us. We close that. So it says, how can we help, right? How can we help? So let's see. Manage your books on shelf, pricing, rights, terms, moves to KDP, Amazon product page, and expanded distribution. Oh, they change it. So I, let's see what it says. Manage, delete unpublished link books, enter book details, republish, mm, update Amazon categories, okay? So, submit one request for all category updates for one or multiple titles here. So, I, I believe this is the one that I'm talking about, but I am going to make sure by clicking the rest of these and making sure, because things change. I haven't used it in a long time, but I wanted to tell y'all about it. Manage books on shelf. Enter book details and upload content. How do I update my book details? That's something totally different. But I think that first one that we had, um, update Amazon categories. Update book details, details after you publish. But this is just telling you things that you can update afterwards. So you can update your categories after um, certain things. So I'm not going to say this still works, but um, hey, give it a try. <laughs> so you're going to click, uh, you usually just click on categories and keywords and copy your information. Um, so you would need, sorry, your let me close this one. You would need your ASN, ASIN here and your preferred categories. Categories can be added. List each category as a 
separate line um, item for Apple uh, titles categories to be removed. So you will put in your ASN. So I would go here and this is a ASN, right? That's my ASN. So I'm just going to this is my ASN. And it says ebook or paper book preferred category. So this is a paperback. And then you can go in and put the categories in like this. So it used to ask you all of these questions, right? All these questions. So this is how you need to plug in your categories. What department, what type of book, and then the subcategory. So you need to plug it in and do one through eight just like this, okay? I would find with the categories that mine is in, but also if you wanted to go into some categories that are in like the same spot. So right now, let's see where my book is on the, where's the little, the little new release bar. I'm scrolling. Okay, so new release. Um, it is, let's see, it should be like maybe 10 or 15 or less um, on the new release chart. Again, if you guys don't know about my daily planner journal, I've been using it for over two months now to get my entire life together, right? I mean, entire life together. Um, let's see, did it go? Did it change? It did not change. Okay, so um, there we go. It's number 13 right now, which is doing amazing. Um, but look, say I want this in, um, say I want it in economic policy, right? Or economic conditions or one of these. I would... Write this down, comparative, say I want it in commercial pro policy. Um, go back to where your journal is. And it's like the it's like a scran, you know. It's in books, business and money, economics, banks, and banking. So that's how you would write it. That's how it would be. So let me show you. So it would be books. And then we said business and money right here. No, books. Books, yeah, books, business, and so say books, business, and money, economics, and then another little thing that says banks and business. So that's how you would copy and paste each of the other categories that you want to be in, and then you would post it, copy, paste, and put it right there. You don't want any removed, so that would be nothing necessary. And then you would have sent it, and then they'll send you a response of, yes, we updated it, um, or we didn't. But like I said, this is how you add more categories to your books or ebooks. I hope you guys understood that. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've done this, but I just wanted to make sure I told you guys about it. You can do your own research or find um, a better tutorial that shows you how to add more keywords. I mean, add more categories on Amazon KDP. I just wanted to make sure I mentioned it to give you a little foot in the door. Um, a step above the information on all that you knew before. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, video, whatever. Um, I love you more than I love this video. Peace.